Yeah. All right. So, Ash, if you don't mind, can you give us an opening statement on your uh, feelings about how the team went tonight? Yeah. Uh, proud of the team for the win. I think it's getting wins in the Valley is always tough. Um, slow start again. Um, so we, we're going to get have to get that figured out. But I guess what I'm most proud of is our, our battle through stickiness. It wasn't clean for us. Um, it was tough to find flow. Um, they were hot early, um, but we didn't we didn't hang our heads. We kept battling through. We made the adjustments we needed to at halftime, um, and and I think we were resilient overall. Um, this game was two minutes deep at the time. At least uh, mostly everybody had eight points. Like, so, uh, can you kind of talk about how you all played well? Yeah, that's a, been something we had gotten away from, um, and it, it, I think it's it's pretty natural why we did. I think we've been struggling to score. And I think obviously each you know individual on our team has has their personal goals and want to see the ball go in for themselves. And I think when you're struggling to put the ball in the hole, I think it gets a little sticky in your hands and you start to press. And I think that's what we've been doing for the past couple games. And so we've we've really emphasized in practice trusting each other, letting the ball flow, and taking the best shot for the team. And I thought they did a great job getting back to that tonight. And my question is for Kiki and Deja. You guys had some really great facilitators around you. Danny had a really good night uh, finding the open. So how easy is it to work alongside somebody that's able to find you at the right time? Um, <clears throat> I think it's, it's very easy to work with great facilitators because you know they're going to hit you and you know that they trust you to get that assist. So them just being open-minded and unselfish enough to pass the ball and th do the extra pass, that's all you can ask for in a teammate. I would say that uh, we're blessed to have um, – guards that are able to find the open man and hit us and share the ball. I mean, I love being able to play with Sandy, Chris, and Danny. You know, some of the facilitators that we have that can get downhill, get two feet, and make that extra pass when they see the open man. So, it's great, honestly. That's it. And then, no, I'm not leaving you. No, uh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> well, my question, my question is for you, Ash, on this one. So, um, I believe we ended up with our best free throw uh, percentage of the season. Um, we did. So Y'all's printer broke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was over 80%. Um, okay. No, 18 for 21, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how big was it to capitalize on mistakes like that and, and seeing it for such a dramatic sharing stretch? That's huge for us. I mean, obviously, we, we're a team that can, can get to the line um, often. Um, early in the season, we, we lost games over that free throw line. Um, so, you know, we're, we're starting to click on all cylinders. Uh, we, need to, we need to buy a little bit more into that defensive end more consistently. But uh, the free throw line is only going to help us because we're going to definitely get there um, with the athletes we have on this team. not all of your opponents, but some of them. What has kind of been your impression of the Valley Conference so far? I'm sorry, you said the pressure? Uh, just the, the, the impression. Like your impression of the Missouri Valley Conference oh. so far. I think they're tough. I think they're competitors, and I think they're resilient, which is something that in a player you look for that in your – um, opponents. So I think them being that and pushing us is going to make everyone great. I think it's a great conference and I think we have a great team and we, we have some big things coming up. So just stay on the lookout. Um, uh, hey, she covered everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big thing that Coach Bracey and the other coaches and even my teammates have held me to is just pushing through hard times. Um, so I think that's a big thing and just fo focusing on not just the ball going in, but like my teammates and defense and rebounding, assisting. It's not just about scoring. So just having people around that, that's always pushing you to be your best self. I think that's the most motivation and, that any player needs. And I think that's what's really getting me through the season. How excited is everybody to partake in Victory Day and really um, celebrate those uh, people that have been affected? I think everyone is excited. You know, cancer is, is something that we deal with. It's not easy. It's sad. It's tragic. But being able to give back and play for those that you love that's passed away and that's still battling it, I think it's a great, a great thing to do. And I know my teammates and everyone around, that's something that you look forward to, wearing the pink and just going out there and leaving it all on the court. I think she covered it. <laughs> Fantastic.
Thank you guys. Thank you.